All right. So, Pannonia, which is somewhere down here, over here, has been converted to Catholicism, which all of it doesn't concern us all that much. We're just taking notice. Don't have a designated region anymore. Oh, that's because our son has become our bishop. Because the bishop that he was poised to replace has died. So he's out of the running for the succession, which is good. Um, let's give more titles to our bishops so they pay us. Silly bishops. He has actually come to like us over the years. Which is interesting. Well, winning all those tributary wars has helped. With his opinion of us. What is our son good at? He's a good steward. So let's appoint him. He's a really good steward. Let's have him oversee construction. We don't really need legendary warriors, but rather we would have some construction be done. In a little timelier fashion than it is right now. Okay, we're also nearing the end of our truce, I believe, with just one more year. Well, actually, just a few more months. He's growing old as well. But he hasn't forgotten. He hasn't forgotten the title I took from him, the prestige I stole. Once he is old enough, he is going to be appointed a successor to our bishop. So hard. <laughs> Alright, we have at least two bishops paying us again. And he will never pay us, no matter how much he likes us, because no ma uh, tribes apparently don't pay taxes. So that's okay. Alright, the training grounds are done. Let's build something else. Uh, let's let's get the last version of the training grounds. We can't afford it right now, and it's pretty pretty damn good. All right, our spy master wants additional funds. Fine, there you go. Have them. What are you doing anyway? You're stealing with zero. Okay, generally I put him there to die. He's not dying. <laughs> I don't know how this is happening. He's not doing anything good either, but he's also not dying, so I'm not, I'm not convinced that's what's going on there. Alright. My nephew. He's a chubby kid. He's gonna live a good life, I'm sure. So... Oh! Not bad. Let's get some alliances out of him. Alright. So, we can find common ground. Yeah, let's find common ground. We're very diplomatic. Let's have an alliance because we're going to have all the alliances. This is already insane, the amount of alliances we got. Who are you? Oh, Essex. That's not bad. See, that is something fun about this game. You do grow into the characters you're playing. And even though they might not be exactly who you wanted them to be from the beginning, they grow on you because they accomplish much with you. And then when they die, it's it's a little bit like someone actually died. Because you need to readjust and, you know, find new ways of dealing with things. Right, another granddaughter to our heir. He's very lucky with the ladies. So who can we secure something with? Let's, let's get him. It's not super ideal. But we'll take whatever. 
Okay, our truce is running out. So in nine days, war is upon our enemy. There we go. War has come, my friend. You want to be a vassal? No? Okay, then. We're not even going to force vassalization. We're going to go on a de jure claim. He does have some alliances. But we have quite a few more. So we don't actually want... Do we want this one? No, we want this one. We want this one, because that one costs us prestige for some reason. This one doesn't. And it accomplishes the same thing. He's not gonna do much. So, this might be a little bit more interesting. We're going to call everyone. Because we don't want this to be even a close issue. So let's call all our tributaries, which should be enough. And if it turns out it isn't enough, we're going to call on the rest of them. Actually, he's close to dying, so let's call him in too, because the malice that we're going to receive from calling him in is going to be gone soon. So why not? Let's get him involved. I helped him as well when I was younger. Well, or my father helped him. I'm not entirely sure. Someone helped him. That's sure and certain. Let's get our vassal involved as well. And our own troops, of course, will be the main part of this army. And let's get this started. Okay, giving him money actually helped. So plot power defense has increased for us. And there trickle in our allies, who all agree, yes, of course, we shall join your war. It is just, it has the word jure in the name. How could it not be just? So on his side, no one has joined. So this is a little bit of an overkill. Uh, let's, uh, yeah. Okay, we're going to defeat this army, and then we're going to get the hell out of here. And stand down our armies, because our allies can do this. We don't need to do this. We don't, we don't need our troops here. That's a bit of an overkill. I, I was expecting his uh, allies to join, so... Well... Yeah, okay. It's a, it's a fair bit unreasonable. A fair bit. But we can assault to our heart's content. So there we go. Let's have it be done. His allies did join in the end, but... Alas, they came too late. So there's still some titles in his name. Are there? Oh yeah, he, he is my vassal. <laughs> Alright. So he does hate me. Deeply, deeply despises me. Could imprison him. But people are not going to like it. Could invite him carousing. Which he's probably going to love. Let's do that. Let's invite him to come carousing. Let's invite everyone carousing. Even my son. And have a non-aggression pact with him. And then invite him. Always good to have non-aggression pacts with your vassals. 
believe that already it did invite him. So he's not getting in position because he hates me so deeply. Giving him position is not going to do anything. We're just going to wait for him to die or, you know, why not do it ourselves? Alright, some people... Oh, look at that. He doesn't want to come party with us. Nor does our son. Oh, come on. So, let's see. We got someone we can ransom. Let's get the gold. And let's kill the guy. Is there no plot for killing him? Well, now there is a plot for killing him. And we're just going to invite whoever wants to come along. Not even going to look. Just everyone gets gets to come. If you check this... Uh, if you check this, everyone is going to be invited who can be invited. So that's fine. Eventually, it'll be fine. It'll all be fine. Right. We have a weak claim that we can press for one of our concubines. Doesn't really matter. Not gonna do that. Oh, look at him, he died. So... Let's get the party started. So, oh cool, he becomes our best friend, which is amazing, because this increases his opinion of 100, which is one of the better outcomes out of these, so his tax income is secured. Alright, so, he died, so she is no longer our tributary. Let's see. Do we have more people who are no longer our tributaries? Yes, he is, and... Oh no, she is our tributary. Oh no, 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 when we die, when we die, they, they are released. Okay, sorry. I get things confused sometimes as well. And we're earning a hell of a lot of money. Especially for a tribe. And money gets inherited, so that's nice. Um, yeah, we don't need to sway him anymore. Let's see. A market city requires town infrastructure. Can we upgrade that? Yes, we can. So we're gonna. So we can upgrade this perfectly fine. And as I said, I concentrate on one holding. On one singular county where I build up really strongly. Now this isn't ideal because I only have two slots currently. There is no... Well, there is one, which has more. What the hell? We are not rebuilding a trade route. That is crazy expensive. No, 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 thank you. Thank you for the offer, but no, thank you. Okay, people can marry, we are gonna take that, because it gives us a bunch of prestige. Things are looking really good. Who are you? Are you married to someone I like? Half-brother. Are you good? No. You got great pox and you're a lunatic. Thank you very much for this offer as well. I'd rather not. I'd rather not partake. Sometimes it's good to say no. Sometimes it's best to say no if you're being honest. It's the only choice that makes sense in certain circumstances. And we have another granddaughter. Man. Our heir. He is having all the female kids. Let's see. Lombard, Frank, Lombard, Frank, 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 Italian, Welsh, Lombard. 
Any Irish? Oh, there's a picked, so let's get another pact going with a pictish because I think that alliance might have broken down now as well. Yeah, it has. So there it is again. A holy man came to court today to talk about methods of faith. Uh, right. So someone came here to preach. We didn't like his preaching, so... He was imprisoned and we're happy about that, apparently. Let's see. Can we ransom someone? Sure, let's do it. Thank you for accepting my proposal. <laughs> okay. Another day passes by spent sitting on my nice soft couch and gorging upon the last delicacies prepared by my cooks. I have to taste everything to make sure that the food is good for my guests. After all, but all these private parties I organize have really done a number on me. So, we can go back in shape or we could just become fat, which doesn't really help. Um, people might become friendly to us. But... Fat isn't really a good thing. So we're not gonna, we're going to try to and avert this from happening. So let's check our succession here. It's all girls. All our granddaughters lined up after our heir. We're still going to lose something to him so he needs to become a bishop and my diet is paying off lovely so let's build the market town while we still have the money we could also pay off the Jews we should do that while we have such large incomes as well unless we can build market town four then we're going to do that first you want everything upgraded here Except for this. I don't like the bonuses that are really tied to culture because culture might change later on and then all these buildings are going to be done and gone. That's not great. Again, the reason I don't really pay all that much attention to what my female heirs are going to be... Ah. It's too much of a hassle to keep track of them. Anyway. So carousing does have a cooldown. We can't do it all the time. We also don't really need to get people who are already our friends or really, really well with us to come carousing because it doesn't matter. We're not going to change your opinion further. So we want this guy, really. And only this guy. So all events in this carousing are going to be tied to him. So if someone becomes our friend, it's going to be this guy. That is why we don't invite everyone, despite us very much possibly being able to. But we want him because we want his taxes. All right. So the market city has been built. Let's see how much... Yeah, we can afford it, so... These Jews must wait for their due. We're going to build as much as we can while we can it. Right. So another piece of allegiance with the king of the Picts. Now this alliance is stone solid. Super secure. Why don't you want to be my vassal, friend? I swear, it's a good idea to be my vassal. Just ask my vassals. They will tell you. 
I want a non-aggression pact. Well, they are my tributary, so... Huh. Let's get our little soiree on the way. Perfect. And it worked out perfectly because he became our friend. So now he pays taxes. <laughs> Suck it. Pope. <laughs> oh, okay. So the party gave us something. We can have just 20 prestige or we get 20 prestige and we become something like a socializer or a hedonist. Hedonist we don't want. We don't need 20% fertility. No, no, no. We really don't. But socializer is nice. People like us. That's good. Let's be that. Let's have that. So carousing has paid off already. As you can see, switching focus throughout the course of a lifetime, depending on what circumstances you're facing and what you're trying to do, can be really, really helpful. And thus we go towards the year 800. We've already accomplished much and we haven't lost all that much either. As I said, this is a pretty easy start. It might still be hard if you're completely new to the game, but if you just read, take your time, try to consider what things mean, and uh, try to keep a balance, and build many, many tributaries around you, then things should be just fine, quite honestly. There's very little chance of things going awry if you keep all these perfectly fine tips in mind.